Welcome to DIY with batteries. Well, today I'm going to make a mini power wall by using this rectangular plastic box and I already made some holes on it to add a couple of DC sockets and a USB port to charge a mobile or any other 5 volt gadgets. And the next thing is about the battery and I'm going to use this cells as a 3S 8P configuration and we have 3 cells in series. By the way, I have already tested the capacity of each and every cell by using this resistor. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll give a link in the description and then you can find a lot of information about these cells. Here we have three cells in series and each of them we have to connect eight cells in parallel. And for that we need a BMS. And this BMS will balance the voltage of each and every cell in this 3S 2 volt battery. So the input of the BMS will be connected to the output of this charge indicator circuit and this will indicate the battery voltage. So whenever the battery voltage drops below to 9.9 .9 volt, the red LED will come to turn on and if the battery is fully charged at 12 volt, the blue LED will turn on and the buzzer will start bleeping. And this transistor and the resistor was connected as a load on the battery and the base of the transistor was connected to the native pin of the LED. So when the battery is fully charged, the power will transfer through the transistor and to the power resistor. So it cannot allow the battery to charge more than 12 volt and I am going to use this heavy gauge copper wire which I got from an old transformer like this one and you can also use some piece of wires but uh, you have to remove the slaves on it so it's better to use this one and uh, yeah that's all so let's get started. So there is one thing that I forgot to mention that I am using these 4 pin connectors to connect the balance leads of the BMS like positive, negative, positive, negative. So we can connect an external battery on it like another 3S 10P pack and uh, yeah back to the video.
finally we have the power wall on to the wall so i just hanged it on the wall so it's charging with the solar panel and the wire goes from there there and uh, right from here and it's a 10 watt 12 volt panel really uh, yeah and coming to the battery it's still charging the battery and the outlet goes to the 12 volt led strip light uh, let me close the door and turn on the switch and here we go yeah doesn't matter so i think it doesn't look much brighter because i didn't charge the battery after testing the capacity of the cells so if it doesn't give us much backup i'm going to connect few more cells like another 3s 10p pack so i have to buy few more boxes of this so connect them beside of these boxes and i'm going to connect these cells as a parallel by using these four pin connectors so that's why i added these four pin connectors to connect those balance sheets of the another packs so yeah they have a power wall